Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill and in this video I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a problem that happens normally when you are in a either a small, big or medium company. And this is the error that you might receive. The trust relationship between this workstation and the primary domain has failed. Okay, so in this case I have this user, Marsh, can be any other user, but the error is not related to a user but to, a, to the computer itself. All right, so we have this error and as you can notice, I have made the, uh, the icons a little bigger so you can see it better. better. And now uh, we're going to trouble, we're going to work on virtual machines to show you how to troubleshoot this. So for that, I'm going to connect to my lab machine, which is um, which is a AMD Ryzen. Well, you can see all the name there and it has 16 logical cores. So this is really good for for making a home lab if you're interested. So I'm just showing you that. So using virtual machine, virtual machine, I mean uh, VirtualBox, which is a free software for to create virtual machines on your computer. Um, if you want to know how to install all this, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. I have a video for that. So as you can see, I have some virtual machines. The only ones we need for this, for what I want to show you is the domain controller, which is running right now, and a client one. The rest, we don't really need it. So we're going to go to client one. As you can see here, it's a Windows 10 machine. I'm going to go to keyboard, insert, alt, del. So the user, as you can see, is Marsh. I just want to show you that this, this works because we continue. So the, I'm going to type the password. And we are going to have access to this account that is in the domain. All right. So as you can see here, it's Windows 10. We have access to it. I don't have anything else to do here for now. So I'm going to log out. So I go keyboard and we are going to sign out. So we don't need this for the moment. And we're going to go to the domain controller. This is the domain controller. You can tell because it's server manager it has all the software. I go to tools and Active Directory, User, and Computers. So I come here, I go to Computers, and the client want, which is, well, I made a mistake, it's not this one. The client want that we logged in a few seconds ago, it's here. So I'm going to do something. Client want reset account. So I usually want to reset the account for this computer. Yes, so the client has successfully reset. So we don't technically need to come here anymore to uh, domain to domain controller. So, but we're going to go back to the client. So now I'm going to do the same. I'm going to try to log in using Marsh account. So the password. I, don't know, I always made a mistake with the password. So one two three. The trust relationship between this workstation and the primary domain failed. So we have that error. Now, to troubleshoot this problem, we need to log in to this machine using the local username and password. Okay, not a domain account, not a domain, you, not a domain username and password, but a local username and password. If you want to know, if, if you want to know more about the difference between a work group and a domain environment, I'm, I have a video for that as well. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. But now, now you tell me. Hey, um, I'm new at this job in this medium size or small company, and I don't know the username and password. The last IT guy didn't leave, didn't leave anything. So what do I do in that case? So for that, I got you covered. So let me go back to the main computer, and this is my channel, my IT workshop. If you scroll down, um, this is the video that I, that is going to help you. With this video, you can reset the username and password. Well, in this case, only the password. I think is the only thing that is needed. Uh, you can reset the password for an account. Okay, this only works for local accounts for the computer. It doesn't work for domain accounts. You cannot do that with this video. But it helps you. It would help you if you don't know the local username and password for a computer when it has this problem. Okay, so we're going to go back. But uh, if you work in a medium size or big company, they obvi obviously obviously have uh, more sophisticated tools to reset the, the local username and password. So that's all I'm saying. But if you work in a small company, you are a new IT guy, uh, you don't know how to troubleshoot this, this is the, that video is going to help you a lot. So going back. So I'm going to go to keyboard again because it 
the time the time well the time has passed and it locks automatically well it, not, it doesn't lock it goes back to the main uh, window screen so i'm going to go to other user because marsh doesn't work and again it's not related to the marsh account it's to the computer itself the one that we have resetted some minutes ago so now I have to type the username and password for the local computer. So if I go here, how do how do I sign in to another domain? It's going to tell us. Type client, okay, client. I'm not typing anything. So type client one and the and the local username. So of course, since this is my lab, I know what the username is. Admin. But if you don't know it, again, one more time, you can watch this video and it's going to tell you. Now, the password, you can reset it with that video as well, but I, oh, I made a mistake, I think. Let me check if this is the password. Looks like it is. So that's the local username and password. So as you can see, I'm logged in, not to the domain, but to the local computer. I mean, to the lock, I'm <laughs> logged into the computer with the local username and password, okay? So from here, I have to go to this PC, right click on it, properties uh, you can see that all the characteristics uh, install ram two gigabytes and this is the domain mcsa lab that local i'm going to go to change settings and here oh, give me a second i have to go up and here i'm going to go uh, you have two options to change to join the computer to a domain again I'm going to do the, the shortest one, okay? So I go to network ID and it's going to ask me, this computer is, um, is part of a business network. I use it to connect to other computers at work. Well, that's true. I go next. Is your company network on a domain? My company uses a network with, with a domain. That's true as well. I go next. You will need the following information, your username, your password, your user account, domain name, and all that. And I go next. So the, the username, it's going to be for the domain design, not for the local user, not for the local, not the local username and password, but the domain account. It's going to be administrator. That's something you have to know if you are managing um, a, a domain. The password is going to be the domain password for the administrator, and the domain name is going to be, as we have seen it a few seconds ago, MCSA lab.local so that's the that's the domain the domain this is something you need to know for sure because if you don't know this you cannot do anything in a domain you literally cannot do anything so maybe you can try to reset the password if you have access to it with that video maybe okay so i'm going to go next come on i have to go next what is going on here? Okay, uh, an account for this computer client one has been found in the domain MCSA lab. Would you like to use this? Yes, that's the account uh, that we have resetted a few seconds ago from the domain controller. I'm going to click yes. Next uh, is going to tell me that um, the domain user will have access to all the files. I don't want that because this is an administrator account. So I don't want the user to have access to this folder on this computer. So I'm going to say, do not add a domain user account. We don't need that. So I go next before restarting, save any other, uh, any open files and close all programs. I'm going to click finish. Okay. And it's going to ask us to restart now. So the system is going to restart. This should be um, pretty fast. In this case, it's a virtual computer. So it's kind of fast. It, it really depends. Uh, so as you can see here, Windows is starting. And I, I, uh, as I have said a few minutes ago, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for um, how to reset a Windows password, how to the difference between a domain and a work group, and the difference as well between a local username and password and a domain username and password okay if you don't if you don't if you don't have it clear of course so i'm going to go to input keyboard and we don't need the admin this is the it's not the administrator it's not the uh, the 
domain account, the domain admin account is the local computer account. So I go to other user and the user, as you remember, was Marsh. And the password, well, the password for Mr. or Miss Marsh. So other user, we are waiting very nervously if that work. And it's taking its time. So by the way, guys, I uh, just want to say that this didn't work. Okay, let's try again. Oh, my bad. I didn't type it correctly. Marsh. So let's type the password one more time. And let's see if this time is going to let us in to this account. Okay, and it worked. So we are joined to the domain again. So the last thing I want to show you is the other method to do it. I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to explain it. It's a little longer, but it also works. Now, you come here, uh, the same, right click on this PC, change settings, and it's going to ask me for the username and password. All right, I don't have any problem with that. Administrator, administrator, and the password one. So, if we go here, let me have a few seconds. That means we are in a, in a domain because a regular user cannot make cannot make all the changes that an admin can do. So we would have to go to, instead of going to network ID, we would have to go to change. And from here, you would have to take this machine from the domain and join it to a work group. So the only thing you, have, you would have to do is type work group, like I'm doing right now, and then OK. And it's going to ask you the username and password for the local account. So you type it, we know it, it's admin and the password. And then the computer is going to restart. Then you log in, it's a little long. Then you log in with the local username and password. You come to the same place. And this time you choose domain. There is a domain, you type it because it's going to be blank for that time. And you have to type the username and password for the admin in the domain. So that one is a little longer. The other one is the one I really like because it's faster. You have to only restart once. In this case, you have to, for with this method, you have to restart the computer twice. So I'm going to close everything. We don't need anything else to do here because we have succeeded. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video, guys. A way to troubleshoot this um, this issue if you ever if if you have ever seen it, the trust relationship between this workstation and the primary domain has failed. Has failed. So that's how you troubleshoot it. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.